Hey all, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will be working with this part. Let's open new part and step by step together model it. In front plane I'm going to create a sketch and I will drop here a rectangle. I press my control, select my line and my origin and create a midpoint relationship there. After convert everything to construction geometry. And then here an arc. We can start to give some dimensions. 150. Center to point. Here 90. It's a diametral dimension. Here I do have. I'm going to try with shift. Click this one. Okay. Something's not working as I want. But there's always other options. Then I can create here a line and say 15. Once we are done with that, we can split this arc into two parts. Right click on it, sketch tools, split entities and drop somewhere random. And then move that point to the uh, construction line that I created. After this operation, we're going to create revolve surface, axis will be this, and a 10 degree revolve, and we will select here midpoint option. Once we are done with that, we can look from right plane and start to model our other sketches. Right click, sketch, and from center to here, I draw the line and the length of this line is 30. We start here with a spline. We play with the control points, select this object here, press control, select my line, say perpendicular, here again the same perpendicular. If you watch my other videos, you will see that sometimes I create here a line and create a tangency to this line. In fact, this is the same what I'm doing now. And then I'm going to give first my uh, value, tangency value, which is 100, here, which is also 100. Then I need my second sketch on the right plane. In fact, almost same starting from here, ending here, and then we will a bit play with our spline, and then we can convert this one and say construction geometry. Again, we will make perpendicular. If you want me to do the old way, select this one, select the new created, created construction line and set it tangency. Then we will give here hundred tangency value and then a hundred here. I will need one or another line a sketch which will be in front plane which will start from same point we started here but will end somewhere here then a semi arc and from here to here I'm going to give a dimension of 53 and here now I need one line and we will give a value of tangency the, the relation of tangency everything we have now we can hide this surface this was a for our helping and we can show surface revolve surface revolve will be with first uh, spline the one we created we go features and project curve this is first projected curve the second will be the inner sketch and the second spline which is offset according to the surface one was starting from here one was starting from here the one that's starting here and this one select this one and i select the interior sketch And again, project curve, 
Yes. We have a three-dimensional project curve. Surface can show again. On top plane, I'm going to create a sketch. I will just drop here and I will say this curve and this point appears, this curve and this point appears. We close it and surfaces loft. Select this point, guide curves one and two. We do not say another thing in this moment. Maybe the sketch is normal to profile. The rest is fine. We can hide this guy. Everything all right. And on top plane, we are going to create a mirror operation. Top plane selected. I go to mirror. Bodies will be this body. And its surfaces at the end. This copy surface will be combined with this uh, earlier surface. We can hide our curves. Everything looking all right. Now I'm going to create a thickness. We have two surface body under surfaces, a thicken operation. I will say inwards three. Or the one inwards. Let's see what we get at the end. Something crazy happening here, and in fact, I know what's the problem of that. We are going to remove this start end constraints for the sketch, then it will be all right. Yeah, it created some confusion to program to create a normal to, to our loft, and this is all right. If you look now from front plane, you will see that we here are having a sketch and we need to work with that sketch now. I create here a new sketch and convert this old sketch. And I will create here another group of sketch, uh, lines, offset, 3 millimeter. Yes, this is a basic sketch operation now. Is anything complicated? Here, three. Here, sketch converted, line converted. Here, we can say 45. Here, we can say 10. And I will go create here a line, group of line, collinear, and then we can trim them. I think we made to offset two and a half instead of three. We can make it like three. Now it is not bad, but we have here an extra line we can remove. Yes. This is also done. We need to mirror it again. If you want, we can mirror in a 3D model revolve part. Revolve this axis. Do not merge result because I want to copy it. Top plane selected. Mirror selected. This is the body that I want to mirror. And leave it like that. Because of the surface operation, we have here some little uh, angular uh, surface. What we can do, we can always move face and say to this one 0 0.5, for example, where we are going to uh, close the gap. Or if you prefer, you can use the same thing at the end of this surface, both ends in the somewhere, same where. Uh, I hide my initial sketches. I'm going to create some fillet now. I'm going to use variable fillet with one control point. That means simply there will be two starting point and one midpoint. 
I will give here 1.25 radius value, which is looking nice. And the same thing here, one control point, except starting point, of course, again, zero and zero. And here, 125. It's looking all right. Now we will select origin, we'll select top plane, and we create here an axis where we are going to make our circular pattern with that axis. Axis selected, what is this body will be selected to the sixth time. It's all white. You can hide bodies, you can select combine operation. Combined. It will take, take some time because there is a lot of bodies and the surface is somewhat complicated for program. And then we will add two radius and the cutout operation. Combine operations done, guys. We are just going to add fillet, which will be a normal fillet. Then here, and then if you change display states, it starts to look nice. And then the cutout here, which will be a sketch, center point arc slot. Yes. And then after we will complete video, one, two, and the third point. All of them will be construction geometry. This is vertical. This is the angle. Angle will be here internal. 80, radius three, central radius to 2.5. And 3x copy of it and then a cut. Yes, this was all. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please do press like button.